Amidst all the attention that has greeted the entry into the Toronto mayor's race of John Tory and Olivia Chow, some in the media have given short shrift to the arrival of another entrant, Women's Post publisher Sarah Thompson. Indeed, Ms. Thompson has offered the city not only her candidacy, but also a moving poem about city infrastructure, which I will now read. Stop and go, stop and go. I want a city with transit below. I want a city with underground trains, light rail or subway, they're almost the same. I want a city that is filled with a passion to dream of a future not cramped by inaction. It's hitting all cities from Dallas to Kent. The rich who come in are increasing the rent. It's time to say yes to those who suggest Toronto is better when we all just invest. It's hard to predict the needs that arise. It's hard to have a vision and keep the same stride. It's hard to determine the truth from the lie and easy to blame it all on that guy. We must come together, unite in one stand to build underground transit for each woman and man. The cost is gigantic, but the payoff is double and the jobs it will bring are more than a bubble. Inspired by Sarah Thompson's example, members of the National Post editorial board have composed their own poems. However, for brevity's sake, we have restricted ourselves to the form of the Japanese haiku, which consists of 17 syllables spaced in phrases of five, seven, and five. Odd lady with a horse and wild locks atop her head arrives from the fringe. The horse and buggy were the first indication. Something was amiss. A candidate scorned, her poll unduly ignored. Go on, trail of one. Oh, Sarah Thompson, when will grim reality rest away your sash and scepter? <laughs>